Every school day across Texas, more than 35,000 public school buses deliver their precious cargo. And thanks to ever-improving safety standards, they're still the safest way for children to get to and from school. But they're not perfect. The diesel engines that power most of them can spew more than 40 toxic substances, including fine particles that can be breathed deep into the lungs. Diesel exhaust has been labeled as a toxic soup of air pollution. The short-term effects of diesel exhaust can range from dizziness and nausea to allergies and asthma attacks. Over the longer term, diesel exhaust has been associated with causing lung cancer. And studies show that diesel exhaust gets inside school buses. So when they start up each morning and afternoon, so do air pollution levels for Texas kids. Using an air monitor mounted to a child's backpack, researchers measured particle levels during a trip to school. The monitor hovers at low levels while the child waits for the bus. Particle levels spike dramatically as the bus arrives, and they remain elevated during the ride to school. They spike again as the child exits the bus and return to lower levels as he enters school. Changes are underway to help alleviate the problem. Today's new buses produce less harmful air pollution than older buses, and new cleaner fuel, which is used by some Texas school districts, helps reduce emissions from old and new buses alike. But there's only so much cleaner fuel can do. Older buses still emit more pollution than newer ones. Buses more than 10 years old produce 25 to 60 times the emissions of new buses. And in Texas, those older buses are a third of the entire fleet. Some environmental problems are very difficult to solve. Take years and years and complicated, expensive solutions. Fortunately, the issue of school bus pollution affecting school kids is one that we know how to fix. It's about cleaning up each individual school bus. The good news is there's technology out there right now that can clean the emissions up to 90 percent, and some of them are quite cost effective. What we'd like to see done is have that technology put on the buses that can use it. By accelerating the replacement of older buses and retrofitting middle-aged buses with emission technology that makes them almost as clean as new buses, Texas can nearly bring its entire fleet up to modern standards. Some districts are already taking action. There are a few small districts where if we did one or two projects, they could actually get quite a bit of benefit in terms of their whole fleet. But you have districts that have over a thousand buses, and we're talking about a significant amount of money to clean up that fleet. So there's interest there. They're pursuing projects, um, and they're doing what they can, but they need our help. And even though some districts are moving forward, Nine out of ten Texas school buses will remain untouched and uncleaned this year. Local districts can't clean these buses without financial support from the state. And money's available, but unspent. The state of Texas has already taken money from the citizens for this program. What we need is need our parents to say to their legislator, use that money for the purpose that you promised that you would use it for, and that is to protect our kids. We don't have to wait for Washington or Detroit to do something. Cleaning up the Texas school bus fleet is the most tangible short-term air quality project we can undertake. It's going to take a little bit of political pressure. It will take some time, but it's not going to take additional tax money, and it's not going to burden our schools. With the help of parents and other concerned citizens, Texas kids could soon be breathing easier and healthier on their way to and from school.